What's up, guys? Welcome to our podcast. This is our first podcast. We are Ace Cars. We don't know have a we don't have a final name yet because we can't decide. We have like ten different names that we can't decide from. But when we post it, you guys will see what the final name was. So stay tuned for that. Um, uh, let's get right into it. So I'm Shrikar. This is my name is Honored. You guys have seen us on TikTok. Now we're on a podcast. We say that we want to take a lot of our ideas and car news, car topics that we talk about normally and just share with you guys directly on the podcast. Yeah, we have a lot of things to talk about and we want to bring like guests on and talk about their cars. Like there's no podcast in the industry right now that really talks about like every, all like incoming cars, like celebrity cars and get, getting guests on and talking with the celebrity only about their cars. Like it's a five to 10 minute conversation. This podcast isn't going to be long because we want you like pretend you're going to the grocery store or work like 20 minutes away, 10 minutes away. Just a quick little listen. It has to have to be an hour. You can go listen to like impulsive if you want to do that, but we're just here to vibe with you for a few minutes. So that's what we want to do. So let's, let's jump into the first topic we have here for you today. Um, the hot, hot topic right now in the car industry is the car market. So yeah. the, what, I mean, if you guys about the, known, car market. the car market right now is absolutely insane. Prices are up like almost close to like what they were two, three years ago. So if you bought a car a couple of years ago, chances are the car is worth the same or maybe a little bit more than what you bought it for. It's never happened in the car industry. Cars are known as a depreciating asset, like the cars behind me in the Zoom background, they 100% go down. But in today's very rare circumstance, they're actually going up. So both me and Shrieker actually have personal stories about how we sold cars and flipped cars um, for two years and drove them completely for free, actually. So Shrikar, why don't you start with what car you, you picked? Yeah, okay. Um, Anid, if you can, you have to give me a host access to share my screen. So, but in the meanwhile, so this is what I, oh man, this is what I was driving. It's a 2018 Acura TLX A spec. It was a V6, 3.5 liter, it is 290 horsepower, beautiful car. Um, and the color was amazing, right? And I really like this car. I got it in 2019. I drove it for like two years um, with 11,000 miles. And this year, so I got it for 30800 is what I bought it for. Um, and this year, so Anirudh actually, he's been bugging me for months now. Like, oh, sell your car, sell your car. You don't need it for like, so we both are in college now. And I just moved out. And so I don't, I didn't bring a car. I don't need a car immediately because I, I can't park it on campus right now. Yep. And so um, at first over the summer, I was like, no, I don't want to sell it. I don't want to sell it, right? But um, after really, really thinking about it, um, so for, for at a point, the market dipped after Anu told me to sell. And so I was like, I don't want to sell anymore because I'm too late. Can you guys see my screen? Yep. Yep. Is, do you see my car? Yeah. 30,000. All, right, so all right. So this is, so here's a funny story. So I bought it for what? I said 30,800, correct? Drove for, for two years. This is what I gave it to them with. This is the mileage I gave it to them. I got, so the car price I got from the shift. Shift is giving money left, right, center. I don't know how this happened. I got $29,900 after driving for two years and nearly 10,000 miles. So I basically drove the car for free. You will never get an offer like this in a lease, finance, loan. Never. Nothing will ever never. come to this. So I sold the car. I'm a plan. I don't know what car I'm going to get next. But my parents and I, we want to go get a hybrid now because we live in California. Gas prices are through the roof. So the smart decision for me, I would go get a, um, like maybe a used Tesla or something. I'm, I don't know what yet, or maybe like a Honda Insight, something like something more like economical, right? Yeah. So but the fact me, that you drove your car, like a dream car that you picked out, it took you like almost a year to find which car you wanted because you're very specific. You got the car, you drove it for 11,000 miles and you didn't lose a single dollar on depreciation or like very less. Like that's unheard of. Two years for free, but basically. You yeah, drove two years I paid what, like 900, 800. I paid like $900, but like a thousand or like maybe 1500 with like, all the interest nothing, and bro. stuff. That's but what you put down as a nothing. down payment for like a lease or something and you just exactly, exactly. your total price for like two years. Um, That's insane. And so like, yeah, me as well, like I had a 2017 Chevy Volt. I got it also about two years ago. Um, my, I was moving houses at the time. So my parents were driving a lot. We were driving a lot to like move different stuff, buy different plants and stuff. So the car was getting abused. So in about a year and a half, we put about 30,000 miles, three zero. And believe it or not, I bought the car for around 16300 like on the road like with tax and everything. I got a check from Carvana for 
15,800. So pretty much the same thing as Shreekar. I lost a couple hundred dollars, but drove it for 30,000 miles for free. No loss. I mean, the car got abused. It got, there was wear and tear on it. They took money out for scratches. That's with everything all settled, all done. Uh, 30, or 15,700 for 30,000 miles. It's like unheard of. Um, if you guys haven't checked the values of your cars, go to KBB, go to Shift, go look at what it is because it's honestly going to surprise you. And Shift was great. Like, this is not a sponsored thing I'm saying, but Shift was like, they came to my house and did it in like an hour. They just wire you the money within three to five days. My dad was very skeptical at first, but after looking into it and after going through the process, he even was like, oh, this is great. So if you guys do want to, I would say Shift was better for me for Car versus Carvana or Shift. And there's this other new one. There's a new, new, new one. It's called Driveway. Out of the three ones, I like Shift because they give me the most money. And they yeah. have incentives like, you get an extra two hundred dollars if the when they on the first visit if you sign your car away and you have two keys all the paperwork ready you get another two hundred dollars um and then um so Andre had sold his car before me and he gave me a link I got an extra hundred dollar Amazon gift card from them and so it's a like great stuff so and yeah. they come to your door so it's like literally you don't have to do anything they come to your door they take the car right from you you don't have to pass so I mean if you guys have sold the car we before, need a sponsored you know, post bro yeah <laughs> just get free post, promotion. Like, it was a very convenient process. Like, it's not like to have to hassle and do paperwork. You literally just sign one piece of paper and they come to your house. So, um, yeah, it was crazy. Both of us made money. We're both now in the market now to get a new car, though. Um, so we'll be looking the next couple months, like, keeping you guys informed of what we're looking at um, and what kind of cars we've been exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. what's the next topic? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, Anya doesn't know this yet, so. Basically, the other day I was looking on Instagram and Jake Paul, as you guys know, YouTuber, come now, boxer, uh, controversial topic, whatever you want to say. I'm a Jake Paul guy. But um, so basically, I was on Instagram and this guy, he bought a new car. I want you to take a while to guess what car it is. I mean, I would say like a Rolls Royce or like a Mercedes G- 4x4, like his brother. Um Maybe like a Lambo, like eventually. So you're, you're thinking maybe like between 200 to like 400,000 is what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Like 250, like maybe 300 or something. So I think okay, okay. I think this guy's making different type of money now because like obviously these boxing matches are like paying well because. And he hasn't bought a crazy car in like a long time. Like he had a Huracan, like that was like I think three years ago or something. Like his, his garage looking went down, bro. Because he used to have the Focus RS, the Huracan, the BMW, Tesla. the Tesla. I think he still has the Model X, but. But that was like, um, well, like that was he bought those all like three years ago or like yeah three 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 and a half years ago. Like, all right, listen, maybe, listen. listen. He so. bought an SF90 Spider Ferrari. Spider. Spider. So this thing is not like no, this isn't here yet even, right? Like what the the, the hard tops are coming, the coops are coming, yeah, but spiders but aren't out here. Even the hard but, tops are super hard to get. Like that's not an easy yeah, thing to get. Let me share my screen again. Um, and so so I guess he has a lot more money now because. Homie just didn't buy a spider because he was already there. Homie bought himself the new 296 that is just a, that was just around announced a few weeks ago. Oh, so homie has two hey. Ferraris on the way. The, the 296 is an interesting car, man. And adding the 296, two Ferraris better than one. All right, so yo guys, Damn. if you want Jake Paul, if you want Jake Paul to come on here, let's talk to him about his garage. What more he's ordering? I think he has a Rolls Royce because I always see him in a Cullinan, but I don't know if it's his and he never flexed it. It's like he bought it, which I thought I think he should. And I, I, th- I think he would if he did own it. So I don't think he has a Rolls Royce, but comment Just down, tag him. Switch from That's- Lambo to Ferrari like that. I feel like, honestly, like I'll be real with you. No, I, I think he, he still has the Huracan for Yeah, I'm sure he does, but I feel like they made him buy the 296 because Ferrari does that. Like sometimes if you, like, I remember this one guy wanted to get the uh, Jordan, like, um, Mr. Sparkles or whatever, Captain Sparkles, like he's trying to get a pista and they made him buy a Portofino. Like just so you no can way. Get yeah, they, 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 you have to buy a Portofino. Um, you have to like sign on the paperwork. He took the Portofino home, took it for eight months. And when the four day pista came, he swapped it over. So I feel like this is the same thing with Jake Paul. Like they might've made him buy the 296 just to like, hey, we need like something from you. Um, but the no, but 296 isn't even here either. So both these cars, he's just waiting for. He's waiting. He's waiting. That's what happened to someone else too. Like Brooks from Drag Times, they made him buy an F8 and an F8 Spider, and then he got an SF90 uh, F90 Coupe. But so they, Ferrari never gives you the car right away. Like they never give you the car like straight away. Like you have to. Oh, buy yeah, it. if we custom order it, you have to buy new cars are all these customs, so they they're not getting a car anyway. Yeah, they make you buy something else. But that's crazy that he's buying a 
But maybe it's like maybe and they made him buy two or something because for like loyalty or something. Right? Exactly, it's for the loyalty thing. They don't want to just give out the car, um, which is because these are new. These are new, and this, they're not going to lose money. Like you could legit flip the two ninety six. Like it's going to be Ferraris don't lose money like that. That's crazy. So he drove the SF ninety. I'm sure. Yellow and yellow. So what do you think about the two ninety six? Man, the two ninety six so is low key an L, bro. Like not gonna lie to you, I'm not a fan of the two ninety six at all. But uh. Got Logan. Oh, Logan's Logan. Logan needs a new car too, bro. Logan needs a new car. Homie's been car. driving that four by four a minute, and he's making good money too. And he he said a long time back that he likes a Rolls Royce, Royce, like Rolls Royce. like a Wraith or something. So, uh, homie's got to put himself in a new car. And about three hundred thousand, that's nothing for him. So, um, he can easily cool. get a Rolls Royce. She's easily like a culinary truck or something. Forget the Wraith or something. Like go for the big one. Yeah, oh, that's insane. That's actually insane that he bought two and like they're both Ferraris, like switching up the brand like that. Like, I think that's gonna be a big feature. Obviously, this car's not gonna come for like I think at least a year, at least, right? Uh, right. maybe the 296 will start coming out. Okay, maybe, the, but I mean, it still takes time to custom order it. Like, it still takes at least like I don't know, six months, eight months. Like, it's not gonna be like here next week or anything. Um, yeah, he's got an AP sure. on his damn, bro. He's got the AP so, uh, stainless steel. That's cool. Yeah. He's clean like that. That's good for him, bro. Yeah, what else are we talking about, G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's another piece. We don't of- want to bore you guys, man. We don't want to bore you guys. See, we have some. Oh, shoot. You guys can see everything, man. <laughs> Yo. Stop um, the screen share, bro. Um, oh, wait. You had to tell me about this. You said, so yeah, yesterday, yeah. last night, Andre texted me and he was like, don't look up the word Toyota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you guys have been following news, this just dropped, like, literally last night. Um, t- Toyota has a, hey, don't look at it. Don't look up anything else, bro. I need to sit back and relax. Yeah, so basically, Toyota has made probably the biggest change to their car. Um, like we, every, my my first of all, just give you some backstory. The homie Shrieker here, he's been a big Toyota fan. Like his family, like they buy Toyotas like a lot. Before he was in a foreign and stuff, like he was in like Toyota. <coughs> Dad, hella messes with the cars and stuff. And so does he. So I love my Toyotas. He's been yeah, he's been following Toyota for a minute. He's been ha- he has like his parents drive one, like an old one. His sister, yeah, yeah, yeah. they got a couple. Um, and he's been a big, big, big advocate of Toyota. Um, and Toyota's always been known for having like a slightly like outdated look, like slightly outdated this. They've never had the top of the top in terms of tech, but the reliability has always been like number one. Like number one reliability, hands down, no, no problem. Um, and they've been coming out some new stuff. They've been changing up a little bit, but they still kind of have that old like factor. But last night, Toyota just made the biggest change to their Tundra truck in 15 years. They launched a brand new Tundra truck on not only- No way! Yeah, don't look it up. I'm about to show you. I'm a screenshot. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. I'm about to screenshot. Right, Brand new Tundra truck, 15 years. It's an all new redesign. It's not like a refresh, like with new headlights. It's like a new screen, new interior, new technology, new engine, fully ground up. So we're going to get Shrika's reaction to this real quick. This is all new. Like this is literally brand. This definition of brand new. This is it right here. 15 years, the first time they've changed it. Uh, this is the car right here, bro. So. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dude, they actually went with the rumors. I saw these uh, renders online, but I didn't think they would actually go with it. They went with this rumor. So this is a brand new exterior, brand new chassis. Everything about this car is brand new. This engine is a V6 hybrid. It produces more high horsepower than the V8. It's in the, they don't have a V8 no more. So it's V6 and V6 hybrid. Um, and the interior is go like- Go inside, go inside. So these are some more pictures right here. So you can see the exterior is like very just aggressive. They went with the rumors, like you said. You look at these pictures. I like it, man. What is that, the, why does that look like forged carbon on the front? But I'm sure it's not. But look at the interior, bro. The, the real scoop is the interior of this car is just all new. So this is the first time for Twitter, first time digital dash. Wow. Um, the first time they've done it ever, bro. They never did digital until today. It's a brand new screen, 14 inch screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, fully touched. Like they've, they've changed up, bro. Dude, like, Toyota kills it, bro. Toyota will take their time. You'll think Toyota's behind, time. you'll yeah. take your th- behind because they're just working on perfecting the craft. Cause look at that screen, Ram, Ram was on the top right now. Ram had that big vertical screen like a Volvo, right? But yeah. now this just took the cake because first of all, it's a Toyota. Toyota trucks are probably the best because you also gain reliability and power and space and all the truck features you want, right? Everything, everything, yeah. But this, that is good. What is the pricing on the car though? It starts at 35000 bro. Um, yeah, that's, that's like reasonable. So twin turbo V6, 430 horsepower, which is um, phenomenal 
Um, I mean, it's literally like they've done this car really well. So, this, it's, so I think that Tacoma is getting also a redesign. I'm sure similar I mean, to this, right? This is the old one right here. So look at this right here. This is the old one. So you can see like this just looks so outdated. This is a 2021, I'm assuming. Um, but the 2022 is like not even comparable. Digital screen, digital this, wireless, everything. Um, all the features like cool seats, heated seats, like steering wheels, like nice. Um, they've done it extremely well. Like I think it's a big step. Obviously, this is going to start to trickle into other Toyota models over the next coming years, the screen and this attack and stuff, but they decided to launch it with the Tundra. Uh, Tundra definitely needed to redesign. So that's actually really good. The screen, I like it a lot because it looks, it looks thick. It looks very quality. Um, I'm sure we'll go, uh, um, we'll try to get a look at this in person, put it up on our Ace Cars TikTok for you guys very, very soon when the car starts rolling out or some production cars, if you can get the hands on that. So is that light bar or stock light bar under the Everything Toyota logo? Stock? Yeah, that's stock with the a TRD package. It's stock. Yeah, the TRD is probably like 50, 55, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's expensive for sure. Okay. Um, but the uh, fact that you can get that on a Toyota based from the factory is insane. So yeah, that's the thing. Even if you don't get, obviously, if you don't want all those headlights and stuff, even base, you'll still get that big screen. So how do I think it hasn't had a virtual screen in their cars? It's 2021 and none of their cars have virtual screen. Like Honda has virtual, like every other company pretty much has a virtual option. Toyota never had it until like today. So it's crazy. They were definitely behind. They were definitely lacking, but I think this is going to push them back at the top. Yo, by the way, when it's recording, am I side by side or am I like down or top? Is it like side by side? Yeah, it's, it's side by side. All right, but yeah, it's our first time recording on Zoom, you guys. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what we're doing, man. <laughs> um, damn. No, that's actually really big, man. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to, like, jump up and down and scream, but that's, like, that's a crazy design because everyone always hates on, like, Toyota when I promote Toyota over Honda because Honda low-key has stepped up a lot, even with the new Honda Accords and um, the Civic. People are saying, oh, the Civic's like the Honda Accord and stuff, but that's actually a good thing, right? If you think about it, like, people are going into a Civic, they can't afford an Accord. They're buying a more, it's a more affordable car. The Civic is an affordable car. And so you're still getting what a package and technology like the Accord. That's great. So Honda's killing it at that. But actually the Honda Accord, Civic is actually like kind of expensive now. Like we were looking at the price, like the Sport one is what, 30,000? They're like, expensive. Homie, They're, like what are you doing? Cameras, you, even the Camrys, bro, like um, the if you get the Sport but package. But Camrys is fine. Camrys Accord. Yeah, but it, they're, they're expensive. Corolla. Corolla is not, thir- no way Corolla is 30, man. Uh, my sister drives a Corolla and it was like 24 it was an XSC 2018 and it has everything like lane change brake assist other seats it's a banger yeah you get a lot for the money for sure the new Corolla hybrid is what's banging bro dude 600 miles in a single tank and it costs 30 bucks to fill the tank up like that's but I feel like the viewers are bored man no they're not bro <laughs> I'm bored bro <laughs> bro all right, I mean, y'all need to tell us, like, if you're getting bored, what you want to talk about. We're open to suggestions. This is, like, some of our ideas we had for the first. Yeah, y'all don't trip. We got Fousey Tube pulling up. We got Tanner Fox pulling up. We're, we're going to get some guests on We've been on planning here, a lot man. behind the scenes. Like, that's why so, we have a lot that we're trying to, like, save. Like, we're not trying to get it all out in one podcast. This is the introduction, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, some of the topics, like, we talk about the Jake Paulson, and if you didn't know, a lot of viewers probably didn't know either, because the Toyota um, Tundra just came out last night. Like that and I didn't know about the Toyota. Out. So, well, the, the 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 idea of this p- podcast is um, basically like number one thing for us. We really want to get guests on and talk about their car. So I'm gonna use the X Y Z name. Pretend we have like Kendall Jenner on this podcast. So we're gonna. She has a big fleet of cars, and if you see our paparazzi videos, she has modern cars. She just got an SF90 in a very one up one color brown color. And she has a lot of old Porsches, old Chevys, very cool cars. So we would walk, talk to her on this about that. And then once we're back in town around Los Angeles, we're from San Diego, if we're near LA, um, we want to go up and we'll record videos with her for our TikTok. But as of right now, we just want to get them on Zoom, have a fight and a conversation, minute conversation, right? Yep. So that, that'd be dope. And at the same time, um, another 10 minutes we'll review what's going on the, every week every other week just basically cars coming yeah, out and we don't want to do just 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 one or the other right we don't want to just like sit like hey guys this new truck came out has this 0.5 liter v6 this horsepower like we just want to spit facts to you guys and like it's not a news thing that you know you can read that on an article and stuff as well we want to give our reactions to it tell you what we think about it whether it's like a good buy not buy like we've been in we've been car fans for 
for years and years and years, like pretty much all the cars that our parents drive and our friends drive, like they come to us, like they're like, hey, we're looking for a new car. Like me and Shrika are like always be like, okay, look at this, look at this, go test drive this. Like we we like literally like we love like cars and like telling people what to get and talking about the new car. So that's why we're kind of bringing into this podcast. We're definitely gonna bring some of our friends into it as well. Have them talk about their personal cars, what they might want to get next, what they might want to change in their cars, et cetera, et cetera. Dude, podcast is lit, bro. Like we're about to end it, but I want to keep talking. Like there's a lot of things we can talk about. Like next episode, um, I only have an let's tell them why we started these cars, right? Like yeah, we'll, we'll give um, you guys a bit more of a backstory if you haven't been familiar with TikTok. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about like, kind of you know what our coming plans are. And like like I said, we're both not in the market for cars, so we're gonna talk about the different cars, the different price points as well, like twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifteen thousand. Like we're gonna cover all the different price points and talk about different pros and cons and stuff like that. Um, we'll talk about in the future episodes talk about our personal garages, like what we have in our garage right now. Um, you know, like why we got the. I have a Ferrari, by the way. So get 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 excited. <laughs> Here's a Ferrari model car, but we're talking about the actual production <laughs> cars that we have. Um, like why we got them, what we have planned for those, what we have planned. We have a lot to talk about. We just don't want to overwhelm you guys. But I think for for today's episode, that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, Shrikar, unless you have anything else to add. I hope everyone got to their location safe, to destination safe. Whether you're buying groceries from Vons or going to work. I hope you have a great day and get hype because next week we are having Chris Jenner as a special guest and we are going to talk about her brand new Lamborghini. We'll catch you next week, boys and girls. Bye, guys. Bye. Stop the recording, bro.